Hi guys, today's video is going to be my blue slash indigo, blue indigo video to celebrate Pride Month, which I know is June, and I know I'm running late, but I'm celebrating, so. So to start, I'm just going to chuck on my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden, just on my eyelids. So, to get the blue eyeshadow look today, I thought I would use my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea High Tides and Good Vibes palette, which is absolutely gorgeous. It comes in this beautiful box with like the ocean, it's all foiled and shiny, and a cute little turtle. And if you open it, it looks absolutely gorgeous still. Like the little turtle and the water and it moves, which is really cool absolutely beautiful it's a stunning palette that's what it looks like on the inside all these colors here in the center are finger paints so they're absolutely beautiful glitters they're best used if you put them on with your fingers I've used them in the past and I really enjoy them they have really good payoff obviously to get my blue look I'm going to mainly be using this side but we'll see how we go so to start I'm just gonna go in to this pink shade here and just use this as my crease shade and I'm just using the BH Cosmetics V19 fluffy brush from here I'm gonna go into this light blue shade just with another fluffy brush this is the Morphe JS5 brush and I'm just going over like the same area that I went over with the pink just through the crease, a bit on the lid, and a bit under the eyelid. This is what we have so far. Kind of like it. it's very like 90s vibe. <laughs> In case you are wondering as well, I did paint my nails blue and I am wearing a blue top, but it's just a blue singlet top and I'm really cold at the moment. It's freezing. In Melbourne so I thought I'd chuck a cardigan over I actually don't have that many blue clothes surprisingly I think this is the only blue top that I have I'm gonna take a smallish fluffy brush this one's kind of like an angled one but same thing and I'm just gonna go into this deep blue shade here this dark shade and just dab that on and pop it in the outer corner of my eye slightly blending it into the crease just a little bit. Wow, that is pigmented. Sorry guys, I lost about two minutes worth of footage, but all I did was take a small flat shader brush into the shade Dive In, this like dark bluey gray shade here, and just pat it in the outer corners of my eyes. Very focused just down here on both sides. These shades are just amazingly pigmented. Also, I think I've put my fingers in something and rubbed it all over my face, so I'm kind of blue under here at the moment, so we'll try and fix that. What we're going to do next is just go back into this light blue shade here, which is called Surf's Up, just with a flat shader brush this time, and I'm going to pat this all over my lid, over like the inner part of my lid. And I'm gonna go back into that dive in shade with my flat shader brush and just dab it on the corners a little bit more on the outer corners. And then go back into this royalish bright vibrant blue here. So I'm just running it through in the outer corners in the crease and just above it. And then from there, I'm gonna pop back into my fluffy brush and into that light blue shade. And then just run that through my crease a bit and under. I really should probably do that with a more thinner brush, but that's what I feel like doing right now. So next, what I'm going to do is pop my finger into this finger paint. It's called Aquaholic. Very cute. And just pop this all over the lighter part of my eyelid. Just using my finger. careful not to stab yourself in the eye with your glittery fingers okay so next what I'm gonna do is go back with my small flat shader brush into the dive in shade and just again tap this on the outer corners just sort of blending as much as I can with the glitter and then again with the shade deep blue just gonna 
spread this through my outer corners a little more. Okay, obviously with using a glitter as well, there is like a lot of fallout. So this would definitely be a look that's better to do your eyes first, which I'm pretty sure I said in my last video as well, that I should have done my eyes first and then my face, but I've obviously forgotten that today. And now I'm just gonna have fallout and like a glue specks everywhere, but I will try and fix that with concealer when I'm done. But for now, we're just gonna keep working on this. I'm gonna now take this pencil brush and just go into the dive in shade and just run this along my lower lash line. And I'm gonna do the same with the deep blue, but I'm gonna try and just keep this mainly to the outer corner, just using the same brush. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this golden shade, buried gold at the top, to highlight my brow bone and inner corner, but I think I might go in with a glitter as well on my brow bone, we'll see. I'm just gonna take a little fluffy brush and run it over here. I'm gonna go back into this blue light blue shade with my fluffy brush and just run it through my crease again, trying to blend together all those colors. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I think I'm gonna go into this silver glitter shade uh, called Turtlet with my finger and just kind of dab it in the center of my eyelid just to give it a little something extra. Not as thick as I did with the blue shade. I've also just tapped a tiny bit in my inner corners. Just be careful if you do this at home because you're not really supposed to put glitter in your eyes, but this is like a very glittery look, so I felt like putting it there. I feel like that looks good. I'm just gonna blend again with my light blue shade and my blending brush. So obviously I have a, a lot of fallout right now and I have a lot of glitter. We're obviously not really gonna be able to cover up the glitter too much, but I'll be able to fix these little blue spots down here. So I've just got my trusty old Tarte Shape Tape and I've got my Real Technique Deluxe Crease Brush. So I'm just gonna quickly do a few little dots just here on the blue and try and blend this as best as I can without ruining my eyeshadow. I feel like what I may have just done is spread the blue somehow. <laughs> okay, I feel like. We're just gonna have to do most of my face again. <laughs> That's fine, we can work with that. I still feel like it's very blue looking, but I'm just gonna do a few layers of this and then I'll go back in with my blush and my bronzer and it should at least cover it a bit more. I'm kind of going in with a really thick layer of concealer just because otherwise it appears to mix with the blue because the blue is quite pigmented. Okay, with that, I definitely have so much blue under my eyes. I look kind of dead. Interesting. Let's continue, shall we? So I'm just going to rebronze my face with my Bella Pierre Cosmetics Mineral Bronzer and Star Shine. And I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Murmur Butter Highlighter in the shade Pearl just with my finger for this one. So I'm just gonna use my Shape Tape Setting Powder in Translucent, just for under my eye. Now for blush, what I used before was my Flower Beauty Blush Balm in Pinched. I'm gonna try and use it again because I had amazing coverage and it still looks really good, but I know you're not really supposed to put it over powders, so we'll see how we go. Uh, I just popped it on the back of my hand, like so. I just went in with my brush. I actually feel like it, was, like it doesn't look too bad. It may slightly show the texture of my skin a bit more than it did when I just put it over just my liquid foundation. But I feel like it went on really smoothly still. It has great coverage. I actually really like it so far. Let's grab this 
beautiful fit. I actually think that's worked. Obviously, I've still got some blue under here, but it's nowhere near as noticeable as it was before, so I'm really happy with that. I'm going to pop the Physician's Formula Murmur Butter just on my brow bone as well, just to add a little extra brightness, because I feel like I really want my brow bone to pop, because the blue is just so... stands out so much. I feel like my brow bone needs to be a bit brighter. Maybe my inner corners too. Just right in there. There we go. Now I'm just going to go in with my ColourPop eyeliner in DTLA. It's the bluish one, the dark blue one. It is blue. Just on my waterline and tight line. And there we have that. I'm just going to chuck my e.l.f. mineral infused mascara on now and curl my lashes. For my lips, I'm going to do something nude, obviously, because this is quite a lot. I'm just going to go in with my ColourPop BFF lip liner and line my lips. And I'm going to go in with my little Colourpop lippy stick in Aquarius. I have glitter mascara. And last but not least, I'm going to chuck on my lip gloss. What's a Colourpop? Oh, lips come off. My Colourpop lip gloss in Moonchild. And to set it, I'm going to use my Flower Beauty Setting Spray, the Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray, I should say. I love this so much. It's so nice and it feels so good on the skin and it dries really fast. And here we have it, the final look. I actually really like it, considering how much fallout I had from it and stuff, or how much mess I made myself. <laughs> I think it turned out really well. Yeah, these glitters are amazing. These eyeshadows are beautiful. It's so sparkly. I haven't worn anything this sparkly in so long. It's so nice. Feels like I'm going out even though I can't do anything anymore because we're back in lockdown. Yay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products I use or anything that I did, let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And hopefully I will see you soon. Hi guys. So today I'm... Hi guys. So today's... Oh. Hi guys, so today's going to be oh, celebration. <coughs> Bloody stunning. Finally. Now for ball. I'm sorry, I nearly just sneezed. Get you got my colour coordination on, sort of. It doesn't really match. Thank you guys so much. Oh. Video, we engage. Thank you guys. Oh.